Want to see something cool? Some colossally cool cats cast curious comments on my treatise about the traffic flasher, wondering what Arduino I use to flicker the twinkle. This is a great example of perspective, and perspective is everything. You don't know what you don't know, and what you don't know is a fuck of a lot. People spend entire lifetimes mastering an understanding of the tiniest little aspects of our modern constructed environment, and they still fill whole libraries with shit you and I never even supposed to consider. When the populace ponders how to corsicate creatively, the first solution that comes to mind for anyone born in this century is typically an Arduino. Because for anyone who has ever manhandled the magical microcontroller from Monza, it's baked into the board and literally the first thing you figure out. <laughs> However, there exists a multiplicity of methods to evolve a Felis Caddis, and bit banging dust blinking lights is but one of Boku. This takes us back to the problem of perspective. Half the assholes I know go around trying to solve hardware problems with creative code because they're code poets and that's how they see the world. But you don't have to take my word for it. Check out the comments below and feel free to write in with the most overkill or inappropriate application of code to solve a non computer problem you've ever written. Bonus points if you can give an example of a time you've ever permanently destroyed hardware from software. CNC doesn't count. You guys have more collisions than CERN, and the only dudes guaranteed to make money in a machine shop are the tool guy and the scrap guy. The more tools you explore, the more options you see for solutions. That's why the greatest toolbox you'll ever own is the one between your ears. This is why reading things, like the McMaster car catalog, is a great thing to do. It's also why I'm out here doing adult nerd show and tell so that you can learn about solutions for problems that you don't even know you have yet. Want a rabbit hole that'll blow your nerd mind? Check out the Eaton Power Edge catalogs. They're filled with shit you didn't even know you wanted to learn all about in the world of electric engineering. Like this fucking thing. This is a time delay relay. It'll eat just about any voltage you can throw at it from a control cabinet, mounts on a DIN rail, and it's wicked smart without being a pain in the ass to program. If you've got the minerals to figure out half a dozen pins and a tweaker in your pocket to torque all the tiny little bits, you can do all manner of magic and miracles with one of these and never write a line of code. Even my dumb ass can do it. TDRs are everywhere, and this is the kind of shit they live for. Sure, you can do more with an Arduino, but you don't always need that kind of horsepower, and these are way more rugged and reliable. The most common reason I pull TDRs isn't because they've failed, it's because they're older than I am and the cabinet they're in is being removed. So let's have some fun with what we've learned here today. Comment in with all the different ways you can think of to blink this simple 120 volt light. I bet we can all learn something new from this one, and that's pretty cool.